Hi, I'm Brooke Wallace filling in for Max Brantley for your Arkansas Times News Headline Updates for August the 3rd. Construction began today on a trail hub facility in Arkansas City for the Delta Heritage Trail. When complete, the trail will be an 84 and a half mile pathway for pedestrians and cyclists along former railroad lines in East Arkansas. The trail, made of compacted crushed rock, is on former Union Pacific right-of-way from near Helena to Rower and then the Mississippi River levee to Arkansas City. Arkansas State Parks is developing the trail in phases and has completed 35 miles of the corridor so far. Read more about it on the Arkansas blog. According to the Arkansas Department of Transportation's Twitter account, an 18-wheeler filled with whiskey wrecked on Interstate 40 yesterday a little before noon and held up traffic. Make sure you check out a new report from our news partner KORK on Winchester, Arkansas in Drew County where residents' waste is piped into ditches surrounding their house because they lack a sewage system. From the deposits around re residents' homes, the raw sewage can migrate to surrounding natural resources even the Arkansas River, Mayor General Alexander told KARK. Scientists at the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences have received a National Science Foundation grant worth more than $400,000 to study how the brains of men and women process emotion. UAMS doctors will use the Functional Magnetic Resonance Imaging, fMRI scanner, in the Brain Imaging Research Center and UAMS's Psychiatric Research Institute to conduct the study. Well, that's all your news for today. Read more on the Arkansas blog.